Hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you some of the thermal testing I've done on the Predator Helios 16 for 2023 by Acer with the RTX 4080 inside. I've been thermally soaking this laptop with Farmark as I found Farmark to be the best way to really soak up this uh, device here. And as we can see on the screen, it's running at about 160, 170 watts. So it is really trying to push that uh, GPU here in this device and trying to push as much wattage as it would as as much wattage to it as it can and also we see here that from the stats on the screen we're running about 55 to 60 ish watts i've got my pl2 applied using intel x to u to try to limit at least the power that is being pushed to the cpu so we can push the maximum amount of wattage to the gpu that said let's grab the temperature gun here and we're going to do some temperature tests and let's see where this uh where this device lands in terms of uh thermals and if we look at this device here it's actually running very loud the its max fans are engaged and it's been like that for the last hour i had to literally step out of the room because all this testing yesterday and today has you know I, my ears have started to ring that's how loud the fans are on this laptop but that's not to say you need to run them at max fans to go crazy there is better ways to use this laptop and i'm going to be doing a separate video on optimal gaming experience i think with this 16 inch predator helios laptop for 2023 uh, stay tuned for that as well so let's jump in here and we'll start with the top so let's get the marker running at the top here and we've got about 35 and a half degrees as we slowly pan across so this switch by the way is the third the switch that can switch the modes as well about 36 degrees all the way across and if I touch it it's warm slightly warm but that is it it is not hot to the touch at all so it's actually a pretty good experience thermal wise so at the top right corner we've got 41 or 42 degrees let's see if we can get the same at, at the exhaust here because that's where the heat is being exhausted there's heat being exhausted off the sides you know from the device and also through the back of course in the back it's warmer slightly it's about the same temperature really so let's head over to the WASD keys nice and cool no issue whatsoever I, I can actually touch them and it feels nice and cool and you can feel the suction of the fans through the keyboard there so it's actually the fans are very very powerful indeed you do not and I'll repeat you do not need to run them at max fans to have a good game of gaming experience with this laptop Okay, let's try up here usually because the gpu dies and the cpu dies and heat pipes are right around here so generally there will be a hot spot in the center let's see if we can find one on this device mm, looks like maybe not still in the mid 30s let's try the second row of the keyboard here okay Yeah, this laptop has excellent cooling capacity. I'm very, very su surprised and pleased. And in a good way, you know, you can definitely tune this laptop to get some excellent performance if we can sort out the issues that we have with the RTX 4080 and the power levels that's going on with the whole range of the 4000 series this year. It's very, very disappointing and very confusing for the general consumer. I don't know what Nvidia was thinking. Are they trying to fool us? Well, congratulations, you have. and let's see so yeah there is no point on this laptop so i'm gonna say that the highest temperature is 40 degrees but I, because i have not seen any number beyond that so let's see here if we can get closer to the hinge yeah it's it's nice and cool now what i will do here because this laptop has a little bit of an exhaust in the back so let's check here what are the temperatures if we target this area here 25 <laughs> nice and cool i'm telling you this oh here we go there's a hot spot so this this is the heat sink here from here to here is the exhaust there's some ports on the back and there's some additional exhausting here so of course the hottest part would be this and if we touch it yes it is hot the air is hot but it's nothing you know that's going to burn your fingers and because it's away from you and towards the back of the device it doesn't really matter so there we go that's the hot spot for this device on the rear where the exhaust vents are kind of to be expected do not use this laptop for gaming on your on your lap on a couch or something with plugged in 
you will burn yourself. Maybe not a severe burn, but nonetheless, why would you want to? Yeah, so we can see here that it's all the way about 40, 43 degrees, 41 degrees, 39. So maybe the GPU is on the right side. Port section is warm, nothing excessive. As we carry on, there we go. There's our hot spot. So at some point I saw it touch 50 degrees even if just for a brief moment let's see if we can recapture that where exactly is that hot spot for 50 degrees not too sure okay and let's try just for sake for fun we're going to target this and the exhaust coming out of there is about 55 degrees so that is pretty warm uh, but overall if you're if you're gaming on this device and you've got your you know hands on the wasp keys here and you've got your mouse you should have no problem whatsoever. This is running in turbo mode. I'm going to spin it down into uh, auto mode and then show you guys what is the difference here in terms of the noise profile. Yeah, and, and like I said in a separate video, what I like to do is to custom tune it. So pair the fans on the GPU down to 85%. CPU can easily handle it at 60%. And if we run into our benchmark here, We've now, you know, controlled, really controlled the wattage down on the CPU. We're still running in the high 80s, so a little bit warm on the GPU and, and the CPU. Particularly that GPU is hitting that thermal limit of 86 degrees. And I think that's the bigger issue we're seeing here rather than the actual thermal capacity of this device to cool that GPU. So that's a quick overview of uh, the, the thermal performance of this device. Let's now take some measurements and we'll talk about the decibels and the overall noise, the fan noise that's coming from this laptop when you're gaming, running in turbo mode or in performance mode with the fans cranked. So this device here in auto mode generates right around 65 decibels. I'll just be quiet for a moment so you guys can see the, the display settle on the sound meter here and we'll see what the level is near the device and also of course at ear level. So that I think is a more important test, how much audible noise is actually making it to your ears versus what the device is generating since you don't have your ear pressed up to the device when you're usually gaming. In auto mode, right around 68 decibels. Now I'll hold it up to my ear so we can see what is the sound at ear level. And we'll give it a few seconds in auto mode and then we'll repeat the test for max fans mode. So at ear level, it's right around 55 decibels. It's still quite loud. But let's switch this to max fans mode. And we should see both climb up above 6,000 uh, RPM now. And we'll retake this measurement. We'll give it a few seconds for the meter to settle. Okay, so at the device level right next to the fan output, we've got about 72 decibels. Let's hold it up to the ear now and see what we're getting at ear level. Again, right around 56 decibels, so not so bad, not much of a difference at ear level. One other nice thing to note here is that if we look at the fan settings with my custom tuning here, and if we look at the firmware, we're still pushing about 165 watts to that GPU, but you can see that the CPU is throttled all the way down to around 20 watts of power. We're still hitting very close to four gigahertz, which is sufficient speeds to push all of those frame rates to play your games. Uh, so if, if we talk about tuning this device for actually a very good playable experience, it is absolutely possible to do so and have a blast with this machine overall. But that's going to be a separate discussion for a separate video. Thanks for tuning in and checking in on the thermal and the fan noise that's coming from this device. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and also share my content on your social media platforms to help grow this channel so I can keep bringing you similar content in the future. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.